David Kahn is Managing Director and CEO of Birkenstock USA, and he joins us at the table with some Birkenstocks. Good to see you, Mr. Kahn. Good to see you. Thank you. We Thanks can just say this. Me. Nobody is going to get beat up because you stepped on my Birkenstocks. Thank you for yeah. saying yeah. No one's going to get beat up. <laughs> and it seems like Birkenstocks are having a moment, and I try so hard to embrace them, but like so many others, I just think they're so unattractive. And that doesn't hurt your feelings. Well, if, if I'm speaking for a long-time fans who have won Birkenstock forever and ever, they would tell you that the rest of the world right now is just waking up to what they have known all along. The shoes are incredibly comfortable and they feel great. Mm -hmm. And is that generally your base, is people who want a comfortable sandal? Absolutely. We don't think of ourselves as a fashion company first. We're a comfort company. We'll never compromise the comfort of Birkenstock. The beauty of our shoes is they're built on a footbed. We invented the word footbed. Think about checking into the most luxurious hotel and sleeping in the most luxurious bed. That's what wearing a pair of Birkenstocks is like every single day. And if the fashionable, quote unquote, fashionable crowd now finds them as part of their wardrobe, that's even better. Okay, do you reach out to them and encourage them to wear the shoe? We don't. We don't do any celebrity placement. We don't do any outreach. Anybody you see when you open up the pages of magazines has bought them at retail in one of our retail stores. <laughs> Why couldn't you use this? Disappointed to hear that. <laughs> no, because I thought, how did they get to the runway? I, I thought you must have made a deal. That's what I thought. I thought you must have made a deal. We don't do any deals. Yeah. Once people wear Birkenstock, they really yeah. become stark raving fans. I mean, in our headquarters, we get letters, we get calls every single day of the week from people that just love the shoes. And do you what do they say? It's yeah. comfortable? Is that the idea? It's comfortable. That's what yeah. we're all about. We're about comfortable shoes um, and the highest quality. Well, but we we'll never compromise the quality of our shoes. The company's been in existence for how long? The company actually dates back to 1774 in a small village in Germany. And it came to the U.S. in what, in the 60s? came to the U.S. in the late 1960s. A woman by the name of Margot Fraser was vacationing in Germany. Her feet were hurting her. She happened to find the shoes, came yeah. back after vacation. Her feet felt great, and she actually called the Birkenstock family and started importing them. But and, in the San Francisco and, area, that's yeah. where it, it caught on in the beginning, right? And that's with where we're still culture. headquartered to yeah. this day. Does the comfort have to do with the soles, or is it have to do with the fact that there, there's not a lot of leather wrapped around you? Well, um, <laughs> it, it, the shoe is designed for comfort. It's engineered for comfort. So when I talk about the term footbed, it actually is a bed for your foot. It's anatomically and yeah. orthopedically correct. So if you wear a per, pair of Birkenstocks every single day, the average New Yorker walks 2.4 miles every day, you're going home at night not not feeling like you have to just kick That's your shoes. A lot of people wear tennis shoes, though. Absolutely. Do you only Absolutely. wear Birkenstocks, and do you think they're good looking to you? I, I'm serious. Somebody much smarter than me said beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But a and lot I of think eyes they're think absolutely beautiful. A lot of eyes, David, say they're why, not so beautiful, why, but you why, think they are beautiful. Why, why, can't, uh, we, why can't it be comfortable and attractive? I mean, I'm wedge. sure you have a customer. You could expand your base if you could make them a bit more attractive. Well, it's the uh, size of the buckle, I think. And there's two of them. And there's two of them. Well, 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 that's, there's two of them. well that's what makes a Birkenstock an iconic <laughs> style. Right. And there aren't many styles of shoes that from 50 feet away, you, know. you can tell what that shoe is. And that's what makes Birkenstock Birkenstock. There's certain things about the shoe that we will never change. Yet, like an automobile company, once you have a chassis, you can change the oh. upper many, many times. Like we call it playing Mr. Potato Head on top <laughs> of the shoe. So when you look yeah. at something like this, which is our classic Arizona Birkenstock, there it is. this yep. is what's delivering right now, and it's a metallic, I do like copper, copper rose is gold. Can I, can I see it first? Is something going on now? I mean, is this a like new marketing push by like you as a CEO uh, to get a lot of attention? We do no consumer marketing whatsoever. Our marketing budget in the free, U.S. <laughs> it's free marketing. Uh, it, well, the amount of media coverage that we get from editors of fashion magazines <laughs> and people who follow fashion is phenomenal. Do you only wear Birkenstocks? I only wear Birkenstocks. Do you walk around and look at people's feet? <laughs> I look at people's feet all the time, and you I love wear seeing socks. people wear. I have worn socks with my Birkenstocks. We call it socks and stocks. Um, David, you, you know the, that is not a good look. <laughs> you will at least say that. I don't want shorts and socks I don't, don't want to judge so what is and isn't a good look, beholder. but if you don't want your toes to get cold, in the winter, oh, you can goes. wear your socks and stocks. Let's see it. Let's well, see it. I had, I had a pair of Birkenstocks in college back in the day. 
back in the day, and my mother said, I can't believe you paid that much for a pair of shoes. You, well, that was the beginning of the... Yeah. Listen, he came with his lovely wife, Laura, who's Laura, who says you're the smartest man she knows. Thank so you. Hopefully Thank you will you. add a, wi a wedge or a little heel to a burger sign. <laughs> that's the same. That's the holy grail. Okay. The holy grail is how do you take the look and feel of a Birkenstock, yeah. that feeling you get from this footbed, and put it into an actual closed toe shoe, yeah. a heel or a platform, so, and well, that's what's and coming so in 2015. Oh, there you go. There's it's the coming news. In 2015. It's coming in 2015. Uh, so you're listening to, to what Nora coming. was saying. I'm listening to what Nora's doing, and our designers and developers are working on it right now. All right, Dave. We thank you. Send them our way.